Hello. In this video, I would like to show how the number of solutions or the number of moves needed for the Tower of Hanoi problem appear in Pascal's triangle and show you a very interesting relationship. Um, if you're not familiar with the Tower of Hanoi problem, uh, please research that. I'm going to assume that you know how to play it. Let's look at the pattern here. If we have one disk, we move the disk. If we have do, two disks, we move disk A, the small one, then B, then the small one on top. If we have three disks, we move disk A, B, A, then the bottom disk, then A, B, A. So this is ABBA, and this is ABBA CABBA. If we have four disks, we have to move the three disks first using ABBA CABBA. Then we move the fourth disk, which is disk D. Then we do the seven moves again, and we get our 15 moves. So it's ABBA CABBA DABBA CABBA. And we could iterate this process one more time. If there's five disks, it's 15 plus 1 plus 15. So characterization 12 of Pascal's triangle states that the sum of the first n rows of Pascal's triangle, which would be rows 0 through n minus 1, is the number of moves needed to move n disks from one peg to another in the Tower of Hanoi. So let's take a look. Let's take the first three rows. If we total up the first three rows, it's 1 plus 2 plus 4, which is 7. And that's the number of moves needed if you have three disks. If we have four disks, we would add up row 0, row 1, row 2, and row 3, which is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, which is 15. You might want to pause the video and ponder this statement. Our formula is 2 to the n minus 1. And we do prove that formula using a proof by mathematical induction in a different proof. Excuse me, in a different video. Here's another way to state this characterization. 2 to the 0, which is the first row, the top row, it's row 0, plus 2 to the 1, plus 2 to the 2, up through 2 to the n minus 1, is equal to 2 to the n minus 1. By the way, this 2 to the n minus 1 is different than this 2 to the n minus 1. Now, if we look at this pattern and we look at the size of the disks, small, large, small. With three disks, small, medium, small, large, small, medium, small. What does this look like? It looks like a ruler, where this is a half, which is your longest mark. These are the quarters, and so on. So it turns out that the ruler markings actually provide a solution to the Tower of Hanoi. I think that's kind of amazing. That's the end of this video. Have a great day.